Today, we are building confidence with a flame. So whether you're new to using flames or you just wanna develop your skill set to understand how to best use a flame, I have two of my affiliates here. We have Brittany here. She is a lifelong learner, an experienced nail tech, does amazing work, but she's like, I'm scared to use a flame. So we are gonna change that today because then we over here have Hillary. She's one of our Erica's educators. So we are gonna pair the two together, the creator, the educator, and the lifelong learner, and we are gonna blow your mind on how to use these flames. You guys ready to have some fun? Oh yeah, let's be out. Let's blow it up. So we're gonna do a flame bit today. Let me introduce you to just kind of the concept behind flame bits. So they're gonna have different points to them. They're gonna have different shapes to them. I chose today the soft flame because I feel like it's a great introduction to flames when you're trying to get comfortable and build some confidence. It doesn't have as sharp as a point and it's still really efficient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first wanting to check these cuticles out because the flame bit is not for every single anatomy. It's made to lift your pocket a little bit, allow all the skin cells to be exfoliated so you can apply product even closer, tighter without touching the skin. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little cuticle check and just do a little push here. The point to all of this is making sure we have movement. So see how I have movement here? That means we can go in with a flame bit pretty well. It's a great time to check in with your client and say, hey, how's your comfort level? so that you know if that's something they're uncomfortable with because if they're sensitive to this, mm -hmm. they're not gonna be comfortable with a flame bit so much. Okay, so now that we have movement here and we know we can go in with a flame, I'm gonna take my flame and let's just go over the pattern before we go ahead and turn everything on. A flame bit is too thick to just like pull down these folds like that. Like that belly that's there is gonna scrape and dig into the nail plate more than we want. So my focus is generally up here on the proximal fold in this curve right here to lay it back, but we can also work on the side walls. We just don't wanna lay it down. We wanna use the tip, okay? So are you comfortable in forward and reverse? Yes. Okay, so I prefer as a right-handed person to use my flames in reverse, but they can go both directions because they're diamond. So play along with what's most comfortable in your hands. And I do recommend practicing this on yourself a little bit so you can build a little confidence and see how it feels. All right, so I'm gonna pull from left to right because I will be in reverse. First, we're gonna address this upper proximal fold. I want you to think of it as almost like a circle motion. We're not just blazing through, all right? The other thing that is a little bit uncomfortable for people is concerning the tip. Well, the beautiful thing with the flame is we don't go right at it with a tip. We actually wanna take this flame and from the cheek, so just off center, this upper tiny, almost third of the bit is going to be what makes contact with the skin. So instead of straight like this, we're gonna relax our wrist and we're gonna pull with the cheek along here in circles. All right, last thing to think about is how your bit angles on the nail plate. So if we were to just stay totally flat, only the belly makes contact. So we need to lift the back end of our hand piece just a little bit so that front third of the bit is laying flat to the nail plate. So a little rock forward and then leading with the cheek. And then as I go, I'm gonna start at a lower RPM and I will judge if we're gonna go to a higher, if it's not exfoliating away skin cells, and then we'll go from there. So let's start like at 6,000, okay? All right, I'm gonna start in this corner and I'm gonna tilt the nail so that I can see I'm gonna be flat and I'm gonna pull that skin back just a little. And it's just a gentle pass through and see how that cheek is leading. Now, I can't tell what's going on here anymore because all those skin cells have exfoliated, which is what we want. So I'm gonna brush that dust away and I'm gonna do it in the direction that I'm trying to move the skin off the plate. So then we're just gonna do a gentle come around the edges. I find I like the soft flame for anybody who enjoys the micro taper or the nib bit. It's a great gateway into the flames. 
Both are two of my go-to bits. Okay, so then yeah. this is good that we chose this. Okay, so you can see here that we've kind of got a cliff. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's lifted up. I'm gonna take one more gentle pass through. If they were a little sensitive, maybe, or you feel like I'm taking a lot of passes, I'm taking a lot of passes, okay? You could try a fine grit versus a medium grit, or if you're doing like a natural nail mani and you're not prepping the plate for product to apply, you could use more of a fine grit. But if you find yourself going over and over and over, I would move to a medium grit and you can increase your speed, okay? So you can play with those. Now we wanna talk about the sidewalls. I am gonna come down this sidewall, but since we've done these kind of little circles, the tendency is to wanna go and it's just gonna carve into the plate. So you need to rock and use the point towards the skin on the plate. And then if you want to, you can go and flip directions and have it on the skin with just the point in the center. But what I don't wanna see is that belly carving and pulling down that fold. Still in reverse because I'm going to be on the right side of the nail. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna turn them and do the tip down, okay? That's about all you need to do. And if you want to go in even more detail, you're gonna to wanna to pull a smaller bit out, like the detail bit, but this will get a ton of it done right away. Okay, coming down this other side, you can come up if you're comfortable. If that makes you uncomfortable, stop your e-file and go in forward because sometimes we feel more comfortable in forward down this left side. Again, I'm gonna move them. Now, I like to personally tip them down. Some people like to twist either way that you feel in control with your flame bit. So I'm gonna come it down and then I'm just gonna use the tip down the sidewall just a tiniest amount. And that's about as much as you can use a flame bit in your sidewalls without overdoing it. So now that it's all lifted, I'm gonna take one last pass just gently. And my focus is more touching the skin than being on the plate just to make sure we don't have any more dead skin cells hanging. And there we go. All right, so if you tip the nail up, you can see that pocket or cliff that's opened up really, really well to allow us to apply product without touching the skin cells. All right, let's start with the cuticle pusher just to check it out and make sure that her proximal fold isn't like attached. Gotcha. If the skin cells are attached, you're gonna wanna start with a different bit to make everything like disconnected so you're not yanking skin around. And then this is stepping into more detailed work with the flame. How are you feeling about that? I feel good. Yeah, there's good movement there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, you've got an idea of the skin anatomy. Mm -hmm. So let's step you in. Show me kind of the pattern that you like saw me do and let's make sure it's comfortable in your hands. Okay. So going in the reverse, mm -hmm. I would start, so I would start over here. Okay. And work my way this way. Mm -hmm. Using that cheek. Great job. And then coming this way. Yep, and think little circles, perfect. And, and then, then I would rotate a little bit this tip way. down, perfect. Okay, what RPMs do you wanna start at? We started at six. Do you wanna start there and we can increase yeah. speed if we're not exfoliating how we want? Yeah, sounds okay. good. Yes, I love how you adjusted your wrist right there for a nice clean angle. Perfect. No, now let's take a little there. brush, yeah. And let's just check to see how it's doing. Wow, that looks really, really clean. We only had to do a couple passes. Mm -hmm. um, let's take one last pass, but maybe shift to the fine bit so you can also just feel that. And then you'll be able to feel a difference because sometimes you need a fine grit and sometimes you need medium. You're gonna want the medium if they have thicker, more to exfoliate versus less, but this is a great one to feel. Um, let's go a little bit faster so okay. that it's still doing the work. You don't wanna increase your pressure or any of that, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rotate a smidge. Okay. Lead with that cheek, perfect. And see, in this situation, we could even turn up your speed to like 11,000, point to tip. There you go. So you can see a little less was exfoliated, all of that. Ooh, good job on the skin. 
There you go. And roll back any of that dead skin cells. And then we'll go in forward. Yeah. On the left half. Yep. Okay, let's go back to, um, to I felt like 6,000 worked pretty well. Nice. Okay, okay, let's go. Down that one left side in forward with a point more towards the skin, not the belly. Perfect. See what she did there too? Like you're a natural. You just yeah. like took that little bit of dead skin cells. You can tell you're an experienced tech. How you feeling? How's your confidence level? I feel good. Do you feel in control? I do. Okay, that's important. All right, let's take this and dust it off just again. And then let's do the same angle we did where we're gonna compare your pocket. Yeah, Brittany, what were some of your concerns using a flame bit before this? So, of course, it has that point at the top, which can be a sure. little intimidating. Um, I do have a couple clients that like to dance or move their hands a lot when they talk. So I don't want to accidentally jab anybody. Sure. Um, also, what you were talking about down the sidewall and making sure that I don't cause any damage. So now knowing the angle at which to hold it is really helpful. Okay, good. So the goal is always to give you confidence and to maintain comfort for your client. And your client was so comfortable during that. So you're a natural. Thank you. You're welcome. Well earned. Hopefully you guys built your confidence today. What do you think, Brittany? How confident are you walking away? Oh, for sure. I'm ready to go back to my salon and try these new techniques on my clients because I totally know this is going to save me a lot of time. Time is money. That's right. That's what we like around here. We want you guys to be set up, efficient, and make that money. If you want to see these pretty faces more, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And if you're new to using flames, drop your aha moments in the comments. We can't wait to hear from you and see how this is going to change your flame game. Yeah. You got flame game? Girl, you got flame game. <laughs> you already have flame game. Well, yeah, I tried. You do. Still job. learning, though. You're Always. Got game. Always. Comments below. See you guys there. Thank you.